Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to play with some nail polish. And I have started off, I'm gonna, I've used my liquid latex as um, my base because um, I'm just playing right now. I have lots of manicures planned for today. And I've laid that down. Um, I'm going to test it to see if it works as a, you know, a swatcher's peel off kind of thing. So I have started this manicure off with some Essie, and this is plain Koi. And I'm going to go ahead and apply the first coat of that. I love this polish. It's such a autumn shade, and I just really, really am loving it. Miss Tammy sent this one to me, and I am so happy she did. So we're going to get that on there. And we're going to let that dry down, and we're going to come back for a second coat. Alrighty, here we go. We're going to go in for that second coat of Essie's Plain Koi. It is so pretty. It's like a burnt orange. I'm just loving it. Alrighty. So I'm going to let that dry down and we're going to put some top coat on it. Then we're going to get to doing some playing. Alrighty, I have let that dry down for a few minutes and now I'm going to apply some posh top coat and get it to dry down. I thought I would give you a little sneak peek into what we're fixing to do. We're going to be playing with some nail vinyls today and a little bit of layering. If I can stop bumping my nails. I had to fix this one because I have done bumped it. There we go. Alrighty, so we've got our top coat on. I'm going to let this dry down, get it totally dry, because when you're working with vinyls, you definitely want, you know, everything to be dry. So I will be right back, and we'll head on into the playing. Alrighty, I am back, and I think this um, has dried down enough for us to start playing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these little vinyls, and I think I got these from Twinkle Tea. I can't remember. Um, but this is Pros and Bronze. It's not going to focus, is it? No. It's Pros and Bronze by OPI, and I'm going to do that over the little vinyl. And I'm also going to layer it on top of the other nails. Now, we all know that when it comes to vinyls, I'm quite challenged. I have, I have much struggles with it, as you will see. Ugh. Okay. Now that I got part of it stuck, I'm gonna. Ugh. Okay, I tell you what, we're gonna drop the tweezers. We're just gonna get rid of them. Okay. Now, I didn't leave enough hangover, so we're gonna have to re, re stick this one. have so much issues. That's why y'all don't see me play with vinyls often. It's because I have so much issues with them. But once you can get them down, it's lovely. Ugh. And this is blurry. Let's see if we can back it up and maybe get it to unblurrified. There we go. That looks a little better. So, we're going to just leave that one there, and I have tapped it down pretty well. And now we're going to go in with the OPI Pros and Bronze. And just do a little coat of that over the whole nail and that vinyl. Oh, that's so pretty. And Tammy suggested this color combo or this layering combo and somebody else too. And if I can remember, I will put their name across the screen too because I love it when people give me ideas. So there we go. And while this is still wet, I want to hurry up and get this vinyl pulled off. Oh, and it took up the, the design, the nail polish. I didn't let it dry good enough. So... Alright, do over. Alrighty, well while I am redoing my latex, um, I'm going to go ahead and go in with this pros and bronze on the other nails. Uh, so say people, the struggle is real. 
Sometimes great ideas do not pan out. So we're just going to apply this. I'm going to apply this over that plain koi. And I'm telling you, this is a combo to die for. I'm loving this. Ooh wee. Oh yeah. Perfect. Excellent suggestion. Beautiful combo. So, I'm just going to continue on. I love it. It's got those pink shimmers in it or glitters or whatever you want to call them. Very pretty. Mm-mm-mm. Got to get Woody back out because, you know, I'm making a mess. I love it. So pretty. Here we go. Let's zoom in. Maybe we can get a zoom in on this one a little bit. Just a little bit. What an excellent combo. I'm really, really happy with it. And pardon my cuticles. I am quite a mess today. So there we go. We're going to let this all dry down. And hopefully, hopefully, we can come back and actually play with the vinyl. Uh, you know, I, I don't know. It might not happen today. Some days you just have to cut your losses and move on and be happy with what you get. So we're going to let this dry down and I'll be right back. Alrighty, my friends, I'm back. I have recoded that one with the Essie's Plain Koi. And I'm having issues with, uh, it's because I've used the latex as a base. It just keeps pulling up the decals or the vinyls. So I've decided instead I'm just going to go in and do some dotting here with this pros and bronze on my accent finger. We'll see how that goes. So I've just dabbed a little bit out on a piece of tape and I've got my big fat dotting tool. And I'm just gonna go in and do the big fat ones down the middle. And wipe that off. And now I'm gonna go in with the little one on the sides. Sometimes we have to, you know, change your plans. And that is exactly what happened today. But I do really love the color combo. I really wanted to give that a shot. And um, that looks really cute. <laughs> okay. So I wanted to give it a shot and, um, you know, put it in my memory book. Things that I like. Things that I want to remember. So, I'm going to let this dry down and I'm going to put some top coat on it. I've already top coated my other nails because I didn't want to bump them while I was waiting on stuff to dry. So, I'm going to let this one dry down. We're going to do some top coat. And then we're going to do the experimental end of this video. I'll be right back. Okie dokie, I am back and I'm going to put some top coat on this so that it will be finished. And adding the top coat really makes that pros and bronze just shine. Ooh, it's so pretty. So, all right, got a little thick on that, but I think it's okay. I'm going to clean up with Woody. And there we go, that is my final manicure. Now, I wanted to tell you about this liquid latex that I'm using. I know I had mentioned it in one of my previous videos. You know, I decant things into smaller bottles. This is an old wet and wild bottle. <clears throat> Excuse me. And, um, I did label it with latex so I wouldn't think it was white nail polish. And what I'm using now is I bought this and it's Graftabane Professional Makeup Liquid Latex. And this is eight fluid ounces. That is a honking amount of liquid latex. I paid $20 for this on eBay. It comes in colors, but I wanted white so that if I wanted to use it as, you know, something like this underneath, it wouldn't change the color of my mani. So I did get the white. And I know $20 sounds like a lot, but it was $20 free shipping. And I think, you know, most most of the liquid latexes come in like maybe 
half ounce bottles at the most. So I'm thinking this is like 16 regular bottles. So I'm thinking that was a pretty good deal for 20 bucks in the long run. You know, the long and short of it. So with that being said, I wanted, and I, that's what I'm using now for around my fingers for gradients and everything else. So I wanted to show you guys how this works. Because normally if you use a peel off base coat, you know, I mean you have to wait days or at least a day or many hours to be able to, you know, peel off your manicure. So I wanted to give y'all a shot of this. This has not been on very long. In fact, the top coat's probably still not really dry. And it's not coming off in one big peely. But that doesn't bother me. So this is not suggested for people that are wanting to wear their manicures. But if you're a swatcher or you're just planning on doing something just because you want to see what it looks like and you don't want to have to deal with all the acetone, that came up pretty well, I think. Um, let me get my tweezers cleaned off and we'll head on to another one. So, um, you know, I think it's coming up really, really well. Um, I know that a lot of us, when we're doing videos here on YouTube, we want to find something that, you know, we can, you know, pop that nail polish onto our nails and then get it off quickly because we want to head to the next one, whether we've done a haul and we're swatching the hauls or whatever. So I really wanted to give this a try and I'm pretty impressed. I think this is working out really well. I mean, I'm still going to have to do a tiny bit of cleanup. For the most part, it's just popping off like a dream and that's pretty cool. So, and I know most of you don't aren't looking for a product like this as far as, you know, the peel off quickly, you know, but a lot of the peel offs you really do have to wait quite a while before you can get it off. And this has really only been on my nails for, you know, whatever time it took me to paint them. Um, and then, you know, redo that one. So, anywho, that is what I've got going on today. Um, like this one's probably still very wet, but Let's give it a try. Let's see what very wet looks like. Because this was all in real time. Y'all just saw me put the top coat on it. and That's pretty amazing that you can get it to just peel right off. Of course, I am making a mess because it is still very wet. I mean, it's super duper wet still. Let's grab this little piece over here. And it's, it's quite the mess, but I really do like it, and I will definitely do this again if I'm ever doing any, you know, live swatchings of a haul. Because, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to keep wearing that on my nails, so there we go. Well, that is all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this layered combo with the Essie Plain Koi and OPI's Pros and Bronze. It was a very lovely combo. If you give it a try, let me know. I'd love to hear about it. That is it. That is all I have for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you like stuff like this. And until next time, be good to yourself. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.